Not long ago, the Prime Minister told us that inflation was falling, and his finance minister said that she would avoid deficit spending because that would simply pour gasoline on the inflationary fire. Well, she did pour $60 billion of new inflationary fuel on the fire, and as a result, Today, we see inflation is rising again, led by higher mortgage payments for the average Canadian. Will the government stop pouring fuel on the fire so that Canadians can afford to pay their bills? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. You know, Mr. Speaker, yet again, despite the best efforts, which actually aren't that good, of the Conservatives to mislead Canadians, the Canadian economy is strong. We have the strongest fiscal position in the G7, and our AAA credit rating was reaffirmed after I tabled the budget. Now, on inflation, I know the party opposite doesn't really know too much about the Bank of Canada, yeah. but the Bank of Canada Definitely follows follow. CPI trim and CPI median. Those are the core indicators. And CPI median and CPI trim went down between March and April. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Actually, when I said that deficits would cause inflation two years ago, that was controversial. Now everyone agrees I was right, including the Governor of the Bank of Canada, who now says inflation is caused by deficits, and the Finance Minister has agreed that I was right when she said that deficits pour fuel on the inflationary fire. One of our primary goals in this year's budget, not to pour fuel on the fire. She poured $60 billion of that fuel. That's $4,200 per family. Mr. Speaker, Canadians cannot afford to eat, heat, or house themselves. Will that minister stop pouring the fuel on the fire so that Canadians can, uh, again, pay their bills? Yeah. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister.